privilege. I mean, we're here in Nashville, Tennessee, for the introduction of the new 2016 or 17? 2016 Chevrolet Cruze. Chevrolet Cruze, and we have the global chief engineer to yeah, drive with Martin us. So. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> so, great day thank for you it. for, for uh, letting us do it with you. This is really, really cool. And like, look at this car. This is an entry level car, and I'm saying, like, quote yep. unquote, but this is an amazing car. Beautiful inside, the interior is just. Appreciate to hear that. I mean, we're really, we're really. Proud That's of the first car. impression. I mean, we haven't even moved yet. Yeah, absolutely. We're 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 proud of that fact here. This is a compact car segment, but we're really offering a lot, especially considering you know for the value of the car. And uh, again, an amazing car. Like first impression, you you look at it and it doesn't look like an entry level car. So let's talk money first. How? What's the base price and how no much? What's the the top the top of the line? Price, okay. exactly. Seven four ninety five base price with a 17. lot of standard features. Sorry, seventeen four ninety five yeah. base price. A lot of standard features. Um, are like what a standard feature, for example, like a rear view camera, for example. Rear view camera, seven inch touch screen display. Okay, we've got. Um, what about the keyless, 10 airbags. keyless entry? Keyless entry is an option on okay. our LT and Premier models. Um, that's right. Um, and then we've got all the standard safety features, uh, such as the airbags as well, um, standard on the car. And then when you go to the top of the line, which I assume is this one because it really looks beautiful. How much? What's the top price of this? Car? The our premier model, uh, which this would be one of our premier uh, colors as well that you see here, the Kalahari. Um, this starts at twenty three nine ninety five. Wow. Are you okay. gonna make any money with it? So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, we are a, a, a for-profit business, uh, but also you know we want to give we got to give the customers what they want at the price they want. Right? Yeah, of course, and, uh, and proud to do that. So this is all. Uh, I mean, yeah, this is leather yeah. here. Yeah, so we got leather seating surfaces. Okay, and then um, some nice soft inserts here. Um, satin, what we call our satin touch paint, are on on these versions as well and then we've got you know this this high gloss piano black yeah, it's really nice um yeah it's it is it's actually very nice we've uh, done a good job here and then you know um, one thing we spend a lot of time on obviously is console space is very important in the compact car right the cars get smaller and smaller but yeah. you still need the places so we, we um, pull the shifter over a little closer to the driver which is always good and now we have got two you know, important good cup holders import, the all important cup holders <laughs> Yeah. Of course, and then a nice little place here for phones. And then this car also has here where you put your, your badge is for wireless charging. Yeah. If you have a wireless charging phone, you know, you're just going to set oh, that in there. Oh, this is the wireless? And, oh, that wow. will be, and that will be charging your phone. Um, but, I don't have the wireless charging case on. Oh, yeah, but that would these, work. These are on uh, Android phones, I think. They're, Android they're phones have them usually embedded. And then on a, on a iPhone, um, you have, you have a special yeah. case that does a little yeah. thing into there. Yeah. But like when you're using Apple CarPlay and all that, you have to go through the wire, right, for better connectivity? Uh, th yes, that's the current generation of those. I s the next generation of those, I believe, will be Woo uh, I'm sorry, Bluetooth or, or um, yeah. um, what's the other one called? Near so, Field it's NFC. It's so easy, yeah. I mean, like, I, no, I, it's really I easy. It. Like, you connect and you forget it. And At it's this done. point, I think customers are um, comfortable enough and used to using their yeah. cords for charging. But once we start going away from that, They're gonna say, where you're going to connect they, and you can charge yeah. all at the same time with CarPlay, you'll start getting tired of your cord pretty quick. I know but that'll be in the future. So this entry level segment, I mean, obviously there's a lot of competition, a lot of traditional brands and a lot of new brands or Absolutely. kind of new. I mean, like the Korean brands mainly who yep. came like 15, 20 years ago to this country. Everybody's pushing really, really hard. Uh, so what's very what's, competitive yeah. part of the market? It's still a very large market, compact sedans, um, as well. So what what's the, the new offering for like what's Cruise coming up? Because Cruise already is very successful. It so. is, and that's what we're doing here with this this next generation of the Cruise. We're not totally leaving the old one behind. It's an all new car. Yeah. We're taking the DNA of that first car, and we've just improved it in every single way. It's a lot lighter. It's a little bit bigger. It's a lot stronger. It's quieter. Um, it's sleeker. Um, it's got a different design proportion that we, you know, we're really proud of as well. Um, so it's kind of just doing everything a little bit better and offering more for the customer at this, basically the same price. Yeah, that's what we want to do. That's amazing. So let's let's talk about uh, powertrain. Are there Absolutely. any new new things? Yep. There? Yep. We have an all new 1.4 liter turbo Ecotec engine, 153 horsepower, 177 pound feet of torque. Um, that's all good. But I think what you're going to find when you drive the car uh, today and tomorrow. Is is around um, the smoothness of it, 
We got great fuel efficiency with a 42 mile per gallon on the label. 42, wow. 42, uh, 35 combined, which is matching all, you know, our comp direct competitors at the at the at the leading edge, at the best part of the of, of the label. And then I think what what you will really set this car apart in terms of our powertrain is the refinement of it, the way that we've integrated it. It's really smooth. It's going to offer a lot of on-demand power with a good torque band, and uh, it's really quiet. Yeah, exactly. You're I was going to mention that. that. Yeah. I was going to mention that. We're we're driving here downtown uh, Nashville, and it's. I mean, we're not going that fast, 25 miles an hour. But I mean, we're having this conversation, and you can. There's construction back there. There's a big bus going by, and like yep. we don't. It's like really quiet like a library here yeah we've sealed up the car really well spend a lot of time on that on the acoustics package we put in and then again our base um, powertrain which by the way every cruise gets the 1.4 liter turbo there's no smaller version of that or okay. less powerful versions so we got one great powertrain for everybody um, from a transmission perspective in this car we have our, our six-speed uh, what we call 6t35 automatic transmission um, again Seamlessly integrated with the powertrain, you're, you're, you know, it's going to be really smooth and really responsive. So this is a global uh, car, as your title uh, stands. So how it, this car is very successful everywhere in the world. It's, it has been. Yeah, we've sold four million cruises globally. Four million. In, in, yeah, up to, in in um in this uh, previous model, and in this new model, we hope to do the same. Um, we've um, started this version here in North America. Uh, built at our Lordstown, Ohio facility, and uh, that's what we've announced so far. Um, but certainly, um, it is a global vehicle, and uh, we've designed and engineered it that way. So, um, you've been in charge of the whole production for the car around the, around the world. I mean, uh, do you ever sleep? I mean, <laughs> I mean you like, know what? It's an exciting part of the job, to be honest. Uh, most days were myself and the team that I work with we're on conference calls with no less than four or five countries that's exciting trying yeah. to exactly trying to make sure the production facilities are, are you know what we want them to be to make sure really it's really not as much that as it is just making sure the customer requirements are built into the car yeah. from all the different regions and balancing those uh, requirements so that's exciting part of the job yeah you might lose yeah and I guess technology helps you a lot with like conference calling and all oh, sure. kind of things but and that's also transferring into this car because this car has a lot of technology oh it's one of the great parts where this is we're considered uh, the most well connected car in the class hands down um, when you talk about the Wi-Fi that we have 4G LTE Wi-Fi that's the hot got, spot in the car that you can right. like up to oh, yeah. seven, seven devices, yep, I think. Yep, yep, up to 50 feet. I th yeah, five, five or seven devices. I got to, we can, we can check on that. 50, 50 feet, around. feet around. So, you know, if you need a, need a, yeah. a hot spot in your, you know, like say tailgating or something yeah. like that, that could be really useful or at home. Um, but then also we've got, an, you know, Android Auto and CarPlay. It comes on every car. It's not like an option. Everybody oh, really? has to go. It wow. just comes on the car. Either whichever um, infotainment system you've chosen. And then at this on top of the line, on top of that, what it's standard, it has also like its actual navigation. Yeah. Even though it's a GM product, so you have Go on, on Star always, but you also have We navigation. do. This this is um, our premier version with our um, 8-inch touchscreen um, next-gen infotainment system. does have an embedded nav as well. Um, if you were to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto as well, and you plug that in, it's basically seamless to your display. You can also use the navigation that's in your phone if you prefer to use that. So there's kind of two ways to do that. What's in here? Uh, yep. Yep. Well, I'm just going. I'm sorry. I'm just going by this. So hopefully we got the right navigation. Oh, yeah, we're here. Yeah, it's right. So in this model, we have navigation through. Oh, they're behind you. Somebody's behind you. We have navigation through OnStar, navigation on the screen, yep. navigation if on like the phone. phone. So if you get lost. I mean, you're, That's right. You're really doing we, something we wrong. Have, yeah? We have you covered. I don't know if they told you yet either about what we're calling our 24/7 promise, and it's really being introduced and announced on the cruise just right now. But basically, what you're going to have is. Um, you're gonna get on. You're gonna get 24 months of OnStar full service guidance plan, which is the whole suite of services. Yeah. And then you're also you're also gonna get 24 months of Sirius uh, uh, XM like radio the whole package. Yeah. Yep. Um, as well, um, that's gonna be it's gonna really 
and 24 months of the Wi-Fi. Wow. Uh, with a certain gigabyte data plan. So again, I don't so know. So customers how... coming out of the dealership with, you know, in the compact car segment are going to see a lot of really good standard option content that they're going to love. Excellent. Well, um, I mean, there's a lot to talk. I mean, and this we're not going to give entire justice to the car because it's like very short short drive with no you. Problem. But I know that uh, I mean, being you here, I really took the opportunity to talk a little bit to, to you and uh, I mean congratulations it looks great and uh, oh, it's great to hear it and uh, uh, we're excited to, to drive it a little bit tomorrow absolutely let me know if you need anything else okay thank All you right.